Hey guys, Figurecraft here. Sorry about that, we're back. I found them. Basically, you're going to need these. And the reason why I say that is when we get these tarps off, you can see they have holes in them. These were given to us in the last shipment. And I just put these tarps over top of them to basically hang on to them. But, You'll most likely need one of them. Okay, now back to what we were doing, which is they were talking about the four boats. So, we need our four lifeboats out of here that they provided us with. And we're also going to need our block gears. Well, we'll need those two. These are the tarpaulins. Which, now that I look at it, we may not need those two. Eh, we'll figure it out. But anyway, we do need our block gears, so let's get our block gears out. So, our block gears are in here. I've already painted them. To make them look like the ropes. So, go ahead and open up these. We'll dump out all of these just to get to the block gears. And we'll put our cranes or davits back in to the bag. We just need our... Little ropes. So we're getting these davits back into the bag. We're not ready for them yet. One more davit. Okay. So with that, all davits are back into the bag. So we just need these ropes. All them little ropes that I painted. Okay. So taking our first lifeboat. And our first tarpaulin. We're going to go ahead and snap these tarpaulins or covers onto the lifeboats we're going to take two block gears for the first lifeboat we're going to insert two block gears if it don't give me a fit There we go. There's one done. We got to do that three more times. So take in their next one. Even out how the tarpaulin goes on to the lifeboat. And we're going to take our block gear. And just press in place. But these things fit very tight too, so there ain't no reason to glue these because I mean they were tight and there's two two more putting our next block gear in okay there's three one more Snapping down. Taking our block gear. There we go. And then our last block gear. And there you go. And with that, you have the four lifeboats complete. That's step one. Now it's going to be the davits. <laughs> Or no, we got some more vents. Okay. Step two. Take the vent 59H and tall cowl 59J. Identify the fixing points on the boat deck from the previous issue. 
they are positioned near the forward staircase on the port side glue in place. Okay, so we're going to put two vents in. So, dumping out these. We need to dig out all of our vents. Okay. Three vents, and then these are the davit pieces. We'll get to them in a few. We're going to set these lifeboats to the side. We're going to grab our big old piece of the boat deck and bring it over here. We're focusing on these two areas right here. And you can see I've already got the metal paper plating down. So the first one we need is this shaped one. This one right here that's like a half shape. This one's going to go right here. So getting it into the position. That one's going to go right there. And then our next one is going to be the vent. Okay, there's two ways to identify this. So it faces this way, and then if this one faces this way and it's pointing that direction, that's not the correct one. You want the one that has that same area, but the vent is facing this way. See the way it's facing compared to this one? This is the one we want. And this one's going to go right here. So it's going to go right there. This deck is really starting to come to life now. You can see we're getting our vents on here and our missing pieces. So set that to the side a minute and then we're going to read the rest of the book. Step three. The Cowl 59i is fitted on the starboard side near the staircase glue in place so that other cow vent that we have left get this here this one right here that we have left is going to go on this final metal plating right there so we're going to go ahead position it and insert it and then right there we have I think that's all the vents on top of the boat deck now I think that's every single vent that the boat deck had obviously we don't have a forward piece connected here yet because it's somewhere else that way I can work with this but from what I know of I think that's all of the vents all right yep okay now we're moving on to the davits Step four, take the three davit bases C, 59A, 3CI, or 3C1, arms 59G, and 3C2 arms 59E. Glue the arms to the base to create three double-sided davits. Okay. So now we're working on our davits. Now the best way I'm going to do this and look at this. Okay, we're working on that side. So we're on the correct side. So I'm going to do mine a bit differently. I'm going to go ahead and get this off because we don't need this on here. Set that to the side. We're right here. I'm going to grab our davits and I'm going to look for the first one that goes right here we're on this side. Let's see, we'll start with doing a three first though. So, we're looking for the one that fits here. So, we're just going to grab our... I did the thing too where I painted the metal bar, the gold color, that metal bracket in there gold. We're just going to do the thing where we just test fit this and see if we can find the correct... Orientation, that's the wrong orientation. Turn around. And that one looks like... That one looks like it goes. So I think that is the correct one for that. 
So that's one found. Now this needs a double-sided davit. So taking their first davit and dry fitting, seeing if it fits right. It'll let you know if it's not the correct one. You want to go straight up and want to go straight down, okay? Because um, when you go to fit it, it won't go in as easy. Just like right there. That one's not going in as easy. But when I put it on this side, it just slides right in. So that's a little trick for you. That way you can figure out if you're doing it right. And now we just got to get a glue out of here. Whoa, too much glue, man. Okay. Then we're going to insert that davit into its corresponding spot. Not letting it stuck to me. Okay, that's one. And then flipping it around, we're going to look for one of them that has the, not these, not the uh, the two pegs that go straight up and down like that. No. You want to find one that's got the pegs that um, that's not stripping down. Okay, there we are. You want to find the pegs that's got um, I'll zoom it in for you. Yeah, there we go. You want to find the pegs that's uh, peg on the outside, peg on the outside. That'll be the next one you're looking for. And then as for a test fit. Ooh, yep, and it just fits right on. So that'll be your next one. So getting the glue. That's the way I build my davits. Because if you take your time with it and you look at the way it's made, it literally tells you how it goes together. And then right there we have one davit. All right, we're going to do the same thing for the next one. We know that one was an, an outside one, so we got to find another uh, inside one. Sorry, outside. Of, I said uh, inside, I mean. So we're going to test this one here. And that one looks to be the correct one that goes there, so this will be our next one we'll build. This one needs a double side. So first of all, take your one that's got the two straight up and down. Test fit it and see which way it goes in the best. Okay, that one just slid right in on that side. So that's probably the right side. Let's try the other side. Nope, resistance. All right, so it's... Ah, dropped it. So it's this side. So it slides in the best right there. So we'll take advantage of that. And get us some glue. Now that we know it slides in the best on this side, we'll just go ahead and do that. And then we'll flip her around. And then we're going to look for another one of those two that have the two on each end like that. And we're going to test fit. And yep, went right in. And then we'll just Put it in. It's basically as simple as that. It is kind of sad to see some of these pieces coming to an end, but so well worth it. But we are coming to the end of our davits. We got one more whole set of davits to do after this, and then that's all davits. So that's two davits now made. Sorry, I'll focus you. That's two davits now made. So now we're going to go to the very final one, which is telling me all the way back here toward the back. I've got to find the next. Look for the pegs. Okay, let's see here. Will that go in? I think. Let me test the back one. Yeah, it's, it's way off from the holes. Not just the front. Okay, so it is this one. Alright, looking for the first one, which is their, their straight up and down ones. Sorry. The pegs that go straight up and down. So we're going to test fit. And that went right in on that side, so that's perfect. And the other side will probably most likely give... Yep, resistance. 
Right, so it's this side. So taking our dab it and then glue. We're gonna go ahead and insert that dab it in. And then we're gonna flip her around. And then we're gonna look for another one of those davits that has both pegs on the outside, which is right there. Both them. And then if calculations are correct, the moment we pop that in, yep, it just slides right in. All right. So going ahead and placing this. And with that, we have our three double davits complete. So those are all good and ready to go and ready to be positioned down to the deck. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that one by one. Testing the fits as usual. So taking our first one. It's going to go towards the front where the bench is. So about right here. And... Yep, it fits in there perfectly. Sorry. There we go. So I'm going to do my trick where I press it down in place and then we'll glue it from underneath. Make sure that's all the way down. I'm eyeballing it here. I want to make sure that that is all the way down. Just like that. I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to look for those two sockets, which is right here. And then we're going to glue. Let's dab it in place. Just like so. And that's one down. Now we're going to move down to the next davit. Which was our second one we built. We're going to test fit it onto the deck. Make sure it's in the right one. <laughs> that one just falls in easy. Would that one go back here instead? Yeah, I think that one goes back here instead. But just to be sure, I'll take the one... Make sure your cranes right here, make sure your, your little cr uh, crank circle things are facing on the inside of the deck. Yeah, I think that one goes there. So. Or does it? Let me see. It probably goes in the back, okay. So, go ahead and we'll do this one. I'm going to press it down like that. And now that it's pressed down, we'll flip the deck over. And we're going to put some glue onto the two little notches that hold it in. And then our last one is going to go towards the back. There, which we're having a lot of resistance with this little sucker. No joke in that. I'm gonna make sure to get it all the way down to the deck. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That one's all the way down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the glue. Sorry, I'm getting out of focus here. This thing's so big to work with. And with that, we have the first three davits down. We got two more davits to build, which are single davits. So, now that we've done that, double davits, okay. Step five. Three, the, the three double davits are fitted on the port side of the boat deck at the aft between the pairs of lifeboat cables 
or cradles, cradles, glue in place, taking care to fit them the right way round on each davit base. The outer peg hole is larger than the inner one left. All right, we're coming to the max record limit here, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And then there will be a third part to this video. Sorry about that, but you all have a blessed one. And when I come back, we will be continuing this issue. And goodbye.